Hi, Tony here from Tony Meredith Coaching. If you want to move your life or your business forward, there are so many tips and tricks and strategies that you can use. You just need to Google it up on the internet nowadays and there's an enormous number of things that you can incorporate into your life to help you move your life or your business forward. In fact, I probably think there's too many things and as a result of that, people wanting to explore personal development are getting overwhelmed with where do I start? And so for me, I want to boil it down for you. It all comes down to one thing, and that one thing is happiness. I believe that all of us ultimately are chasing happiness in whatever form that is. For some people, it could be spend time with their family. For other people, it could be uh, have a trip to the islands. For other people, it might be start a business and grow that uh, exponentially year on year, regardless of what it is. I believe that all of us are trying to find our own happiness. Now, the number one way that we can find happiness is in gratitude. By being grateful for the things that we currently have in our life and around us right here and right now. Now, I understand that you mightn't have all the things in your life that you want, but you can be grateful right now for the things that you do have. See, the challenge is that a lot of people want something else in their life. They're always searching for something else. And that's okay. In fact, I encourage people to do that. I've, I've grown a business supporting, coaching, encouraging people to you know, aspire to do other things. But where it becomes a problem is where people get stressed and upset and uptight and frustrated because they want to be down the road further, but they're here and they get all worked up about it. And part of it's because they're trying to compare themselves to other people. They're trying to compare themselves to the Joneses, whoever the Joneses are. And they get themselves all worked up. Alternatively, what they do is they look back in their life and they get quite depressed about the missed opportunities. The things that could have happened, should have happened, wished have happened. The reality is they haven't happened. And so the opportunity is to get very grateful and very happy with what you've currently got in your life today. See, a lot of people live their life in a cause and effect model. By that I mean, they'll say, I'll be happy when. I'll be happy when I have more money. I'll be happy when I have a new car. I'll be happy when I have that new house. You can be happy right now. And that's the secret to all this, is that you have the choice to be happy right now. So I want you to stick around, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my daily gratitude tips to help get your life forward so that you can move yourself closer to the ultimate happiness that you desire. See, here's the thing with gratitude. Gratitude is an attitude. Practice the attitude of gratitude. It's a mindset. And so you can change your mind, change your approach to happiness, to gratitude in an instant. You can choose to be happy right now. And a couple of really simple ways that you can choose to be happy. The first one is think back to a time when you were happy in your life. Think back to a happy occasion. Think back to when you were with family and friends or uh, at a movie uh, or at a concert or wherever you were. Think back to when you've been happy in the past. Light that up in your mind, that vision, that past memory of when you were happy. And start to see what happens to your feelings and your emotions when you think about that happy time in your life. See, the key here is that the brain, the human brain, can't distinguish between what is real and what is imagined. So if you imagine a time in the past when you were happy, all of a sudden, you'll start to feel happy again. Conversely, why don't you look forward in your life? So if you start to look forward and think about a time in the future when you're going to be happy. So think about when you go off on a particular holiday with your family. Does that make you feel happy? Sit with that, visualize yourself into the future, having happy times, playing with the kids, uh, doing a whole range of things with your partner, whatever it might be, does that start to change your state? 
Here's some other tips to help you become more grateful. Firstly, show appreciation for everything that goes on. Say thank you. Be appreciative of the efforts that people are making around you. Let them know that you care. By you starting to be more appreciative, you're going to start to create that mindset of gratitude. Look for things to be grateful in everything that happens. See, it's not just the big things that you should be grateful for. It's the small things. Yeah? It could be someone's given you uh, a glass of water. Uh, someone has opened a door for you. Uh, I used to travel a lot. You know, when the pilot would land the plane, I would be grateful that we landed the plane. Small things, but things that I could be appreciative uh, for and appreciative about. The other thing is, look for grateful moments in the difficult times. So you're going to encounter a whole lot of difficult times, a whole lot of challenges, a whole lot of obstacles. But what are the positive things that you can pull out of those obstacles that are going to help reframe the way in which you approach things? There's lessons. In life, you're constantly going to get lessons. If you're shifting your life forward, if you're changing, if you're growing as a person, uh, if you're pushing your business forward, you're going to encounter a whole lot of lessons. And so when you have those lessons, when you make mistakes, when you encounter difficulties, what are the things that you can take out of that? What are the things to be grateful for that you learnt that particular mistake to enable you to not make that mistake again in your future? It's all, I, I get that it's a difficult concept, but it's all about looking for the things to be grateful in everything that you do. The other thing uh, to help with gratitude is to be mindful, is to be present in the here and now. Stop. Smell the roses. Look around you and think about all the wonderful things that you've got in your life right now. I'll guarantee you that in this uh, human race of 7 billion people, there is always going to be someone worse off than you. There'll always be someone who is prepared to change places, to trade places with you and your circumstances. So even though you might be thinking that your situation is dire, it's hard, it's upsetting, it's frustrating, it's all those uh, angry style emotions, I'll guarantee you that there's someone out there who would happily trade places with you because their situation is so much worse than where you're at. I also want to introduce you to a concept called the circle of gratitude. This is how we can move our life forward. So it starts by being happy. And as we've already talked about, happiness can start right now. You can choose to be happy right now, this very moment. And so by being happy, what happens in the circle of gratitude is you become more productive. More productive in whatever it is that you want to do, but you become more productive. And when you become more productive, you become more successful. Because when you love what you do, you never work another day again in your life. And so you go from productivity to success. And when you become more successful, it then leads to increased happiness, which leads to productivity, which leads to success, happiness, productivity, success, and so on. And so that's the circle of gratitude. But it all starts with you choosing to be happy right here and right now. So I said that I was going to share with you some tips and tricks that I use to help me become more grateful in my life. How I can express attitude, how I can uh, live an attitude of gratitude. And what I do is I look for things that I'm grateful for all day, every day. And so every morning I have a morning routine and what I do is I write down three things that I'm grateful for that happened the day before. Now, if you're not a morning person, perhaps you're an evening person, that's okay. You do it at the end of the day. At the end of the day, before you go to bed, reflect on three things that you're grateful for that happened during the day and write them down. Don't just think about it. Write them down on a piece of paper. It's quite therapeutic to write things down. But think of three. Now, when you start off, they might be big things that you start off doing. But think of the smaller things that are happening in your life. Be grateful for the fact that you've got food on your table. Be grateful for the fact that you've got a roof over your head. Be grateful for the fact that you're able to drive safely to the shops. Be grateful that you're in a situation where you have choice of things that you can purchase. Be grateful that the kids go to school. Be grateful that you're not living in a war-torn country. 
on and on and on. Be grateful, as I mentioned, that your plane has landed, that your transport has got you somewhere safely, that you've driven to your destination and back. We could go on and on and on, but it's all about creating that attitude of gratitude. As I'm finishing up, I just want to leave you with one last quote. It's one of my favourite quotes, and that is, be happy with what you've got whilst you pursue what you want. I want you to get whatever it is that you want for your life. I want you to achieve all the dreams that you aspire towards. I'm certainly trying to do that for myself. But I also want you to be happy and to be grateful for the wonderful things that you've got now. And by doing that, your life will move forward at a faster rate than you've ever seen possible before. Thanks for watching.